Let's, before we get to that, though, let's do the rehash. We've got to do a rehash, you know? We've just got to do it. We've got to do it. And to all the people on the last video who told me it's too sad and long, lick my f***ing nuts. I don't give a shit what you think. I'm going to do whatever I want. You mean nothing to me. So go to r slash stands. For people who stand stands. That's what I gotta say. And you know what that song means. It means get your little patootie down to reddit.com slash r slash stands. Let's get into the rehash. Stans, is this true? Lil W? Oh, I think I just watched this clip. At one point, I don't know why, but this is a one-way street. And I drove out on it with stands in the passenger seat the wrong way. I just drove into oncoming traffic and stands okay so i'm gonna stop this clip right here for a second what you have heard is hrx saying hey i am a dumbass and i have done some dumbass shit i'm driving down a one-way street now he's gonna do a technique called deflecting he is gonna try and deflect on being a dumbass and almost killing us listen here because he's fucking stands and he's like all fucking stansy didn't know how to say that I was driving into oncoming traffic. Don't put the blame on me, my friend. You're driving in the head-on lane. He knew what was happening, but didn't know how to communicate it to me. So he's like tapping me on the arm, and he's like, "Hey, truck, uh, hey, Brandon, hey, truck, uh, um, it's like, uh, you're in the, you're in the, the head-on. You're head-on." I'm like, "What are you, Sands? What are you talking about? Head-on? What the fuck is the head-on lane, Stans? <laughs> You're in the head on like, blah, I'm fucking just driving. <laughs> so we talk about the head on lane all the time. It we do talk about the head on lane all the time, to be sure. It was not a good impression. I think the end of the impression was fine, but the beginning, I'm not Ben Shapiro. Uh, Adrock, up, Adrock, 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 up, Adrock. That's not me. Uh, the end of that, so besides the like tapping you on the shoulder, we were at a light, so the way, the true, this is not exactly what happened. Let me, let me kind of illustrate for you guys what happened. So, what happened was, <clears throat> here is a road, right? And here is a road. Now, many people know about roads, right? They know how roads work. They got, you know, like this, this, this. Now, this is a turning lane, right? You understand that? And so this is me and a track right here. We're driving. This is a turning lane. And what we want to do is turn left here. We want to be going this direction on this street. Instead, Atrioc pulls the fucking whip into this lane. And we're not driving. He is sitting in front of an intersection in a lane blocking all of traffic. And because we're not driving, it's not that we're driving out onto the traffic. I'm trying to tell him this is not the turning lane. What I was trying to say was, you think that we are in the turning lane, my friend, and this is not the turning lane. This lane is head-on with traffic, which is what I said. And he looks at me, and he's eating a slickable, and he's trying to drive or sit at the stoplight. And he goes, what? What? And I go, yo, we're in a lane where head-on traffic is going to hit us. This is not the turning lane. And he, it took him a while, but he figured it out. So it's not like we were fucking zooming, thooming through head-on traffic. We were just sitting there at a fucking stoplight, not in a left turn lane. Yeah, he's not used to cars, dude. Usually the horse won't go in the wrong lane. What was I gonna say? I can't even remember. Was I gonna say something funny, poignant? Yeah, a truck is not grinded driving. I wish he did. Weird dream stands. Anyway, can you sign this? From Poyos. Consent to adoption. Application form for prospective adopted parents. Name, Poyos Tacos. Mail applicant, stands. Date of birth, old AF LMAO. Address, Mogul Mansion Cash App Compound. Zip code, who fucking knows, dude. Email address, balls at gmail.gov. Telephone number stands, number 0001. That's what I give the government. When the IRS asks me for my number, I give them this. Date of marriage year, two. <laughs> Male applicant, gamer. Monthly income, he has Tesla money, that's for sure. Details of profession, Damn the it, kid's cracked. Uh, reason for adopting child, content. Preference to child, fuck it, we ball. I mean, what do you say, boys? I think we do it. You know what I mean? I think we just, it just seems like something that we should, we should do, you know? Like, I should just do it. That should be good. Pose is going to murder you for inheritance after you sign this. Got it. Got it. 
So is this sole custody of Poyos for Shelly involved with this one? Yeah, she said no. <laughs> ah, congratulations though. Congratulations, by the way, congratulations. That is legally binding. A self-portrait from Brady. Now I'm gonna ask a question, chat, and this is not to be rude. This does look like Brady. Is this actually Brady as a child, or did he find like just a random kid? It's a stock image? That's, that's what I'm asking. If it's a stock image or if it's actually Brady. Can I reverse image search? Sudden behavior changes in kids, dude. My little Jimmy was just so normal. And then he went to Twitch and he found stands. And now he won't stop talking about WAPs and esports players murdering people. I've had it up to here with him. Any truers? This guy gets it. Another Brady post with a lot of upvotes. The average Lud bud. The average stands enjoyer. Well, this is just true. I, would, I don't even know why this is on the Reddit because this is just actual factual. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this should just go on a Wikipedia page of where they get my pick. This guy's nose is terrifying. I assume it's Photoshop and not plastic surgery, but either way, very terrifying. New house, same habits. Stands when he loses that inserts kid, insert kids game from Boyos Tacos. That is me. Minecraft is a child's game. Are you okay, Stans? From Jolly Sigbro. I'm 44 and can't swim. State your age and something you can't do. I'm 27 and can't beat Pokemon Platinum, a game made for kids. So, here's the deal. Is this still going? Because I could yoink this. Guys, you can post on the Reddit and get 34 upvotes. Or you can let me yoink and live in infamy as a ghostwriter. You know what I'm saying? Burb's done it before. I would have posted this. This is a good tweet. You post this as if it's a joke tweet. But this is a solid tweet. This is fire, as the kids say. Only a matter of time from Poyos Tacos. Chat pulling up to the Mogul Mansion after Stan's leaks the address from his Tesla dashboard. I will not do that. I've leaked my address from the Tesla dashboard once, and I shan't do it again. Chat is the imposter from Rackery Ass. Chat when Ludbuds raid. Chat when Stan's has a mildly controversial Pokemon take. This is very funny. You guys are like child soldiers because you've been indoctrinated, and I just want to love you. I just want to love you and let you know it's going to be okay. Next up. Next video will be, don't call Harrobrin at 3 a.m. while making slime. He killed my wife. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. People were very upset at this. Did you guys see some of the comments? Let me, uh... I mean, there's some good ones. Stan's trying to attract Zoomers with his clickbait. I really like the part where he came to your house. Oh, where's the upset ones? Yeah. <laughs> How you fallen from grace made me feel pretty bad, to be honest. Did I win my lime green Gen G hoodie from Kidder? Nurse, you've been in a coma for six months. Me. Oh, boy. Did I win the Stan slot giveaway? fuck <laughs> i will finish the stands lock i'm trying i'm doing my best i am a gamer come on I what did that bully video say talk to the hand have you guys seen that tiktok viral anti-bullying tiktok it's like a meme fuck no oh you found the tiktok damn you're sick matt if this is a rickroll you got me though Yo, what's good? My name is Chester. Say a bad word and you're gone for the semester. Hey, hello. My name's Wayne. Mess with my friends and you'll feel the pain. What's up? Wowza. That was a pretty nifty trick. That is pointless. But you know what isn't nifty? Cyberbullying. Ayo, <laughs> Chester. What's the four on one on cyberbullying? I'll tell you, Jamie. No, it's this not is Buddy, thing. but you can call him. Yeah, this, bud. this. And he's fallen under the influence of cyberbullying. Let's take a gander. Eat my shorts, loser. <laughs> One way you can deal with these rancid monster humans is by telling them to talk to the hand. <laughs> That's been stuck in my head all week. A uh, talk to uh, the hand. <laughs> Let's take a gander. Bullying is not good. Here's my hot take for the night. Bullying sucks. Don't bully. Can I say that? Is that too hot? Is that a scorcher? Uh, they're both nice from Rackery Ass. Oh, I showed Rochelle this last night when I found it on the on my phone because I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen on this subreddit. So yesterday, I recently moved and I was showing chat my old place. Here's my old place and here's my neighbors that spent millions of dollars upgrading their house and now lord over us like a feudal king. I am but a serf working the field and this is my liege. Their backyard was a hot tub looking at me in the fields. Actually, I'm out there scooping my dog shit and they're just in there drinking their fucking Mai Tais from their hot tub. And it resonated in a way because yesterday night at the same time, AOC, our queen, was also streaming. The progressive congresswoman's first stream they tell you not to worry about. Your stream. 
You should have taken it down for the name of Liberty. The house or the post? <laughs> the house would be a little bit crazy, dude. <laughs> Fucking guillotine. Duality by Dubba TV. Duality of Stan's Court. Leak. Someone is going to die. What the fuck? Pog. <laughs> Capital D colon. <laughs> he said leak and it was like a spoiler. And so I clicked it and it said someone is going to die. And I didn't understand. Next up from Pollo's Tacos. A nice 50 upvotes. Come on, man. Cynthia is a MILF. God damn. I stand by this. Is that weird? There's no... Again, there is no shame in my game. <laughs> Pepe laugh from Fabian. I think SSG wins that one if they take control of Dragon. Is, uh... Wins what one? I don't even... Dragon's a callout on this map? What the fuck's Dragon? I thought Dragon was a Haven callout. Oh, Dragon these nuts. You got me. Uh, <laughs> Dragon these nuts, chat. It was a setup. It was a setup. He set him up and he knocked him down. He got me with the classic dragon. Slow and steady from Rackerias. This has a lot of upvotes. This must be funny. AOC getting partnered and having tens of thousands of followers right after creating her account. Me just happy stands got partnered after years of trying. Thank you. Thank you. Me after Trump gets reelected and I die to COVID from danger. <laughs> I like that. I think that's very funny. I like when people edit the winner's pop hat onto things. It helps me sell merch. Exclamation point hats, dude. You guys trying to buy a hat? Thank you, Stans, from Jolly Sigbro. What's the text post? Oh my god, what the fuck? This is a pretty long and rambly post, so you don't have to read it. Fucking watch me, bitch. The first time I really started watching your channel was back in March. I remember it so well because it was the HRAC 19 stream. It was, and still is, one of the funniest things I've ever watched. As the quarantine stretched on from weeks to months, I realized that my final year of high school was just done. I wouldn't have a real prom, a real graduation. These past few months have been a real low point for me. I've never spent so many nights just lying awake staring at the ceiling. I felt so completely and utterly alone. But your streams and the community generated around it were there. So much has happened in the past few months. The Discord ran a shitload of Valorant 10 mans during the beta and around launch, which led to any tubbers won. You finally got partnered after five tries. Polios posted beans for a whole month. Arizona didn't miss. We did a playlist stream, an emote contest, an Amazon stream. You made the challenge, which has been fantastic every single time. All this is just a really complicated way of saying thank you, Stans. Thank you for creating such a great for just creating such great streams. Thank you for rehashing all the stupid rap posts I've done. Thank you for helping build such an awesome community, and thank you for creating an environment where people can feel at home. Ludwig likes to describe this his content as seasons. Tom Videogre described the move as the end of season two. I like to think that's pretty accurate. Season one was everything before you got partnered. Season two was everything after, and season three is everything that comes after the move. A lot has changed since I first joined. The community has blown up, and I'm seeing new faces become familiar every single day. So here's to season three. Damn, dude, I'm crying. Why would you write that, you piece of shit? That's not nice. The stream literally wouldn't exist if you guys didn't watch this. Like, literally. I know I stream for a long time to 10 viewers, but I just, I wouldn't stream. You know what I mean? Like, there would be no YouTube, there'd be no Discord, there'd be no people to talk to in this community. It literally, I could not do anything if it wasn't for you guys. Also, I broke my glasses when I was